You see this at football games, a moving camera hanging from cables above the players. Viewers get pretty cool views of the action from this thing called spider cam. Did you know this tech also helps farmers? Make sure you get a shot of our high-tech equipment. Close pins? Sometimes simple solutions are the, the best solutions. The idea came from the sports world, but this spider cam flies over plants instead of players. Corn, soybeans, sorghum, even tobacco. Gathering information for different UNL crop research projects. Scientists call it phenotyping. It's the only one in the States, and I believe there is another one in Europe. Here's how it works. This one-acre field has an underground system for precise irrigation for the different tests. Cables run from poles at the corners. Changing the tension on the cables moves the dangling payload, 66 pounds of cameras and imaging equipment. We collect phenomic data, like plant height, maturity date, flowering date, the biomass, something like that. And because we can control the water applied to this field, we can look at it very specifically as far as the, the ability of the plants to, to use that water, and then also how they respond to it, which is part of the phenotyping. So this is a lot like a video game, isn't it? That's right. Okay. So three controls, mm -hmm. and I can do this without crashing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to go up. Sure. Yep. Now it's going up. Okay. And we can go east to west at the same time. That's right. So basically, you can separate the two motion control. One is up and down. Okay. One is east to west, south to north. Most of the time, this isn't operated by hand. Automation provides fast, precise, consistent measurements of plants as they grow from ground level to as high as 30 feet. When we use our automatic program, we would say plus minus five centimeter wow. in the field. It's pretty good. Better than, say, using a drone, which would be less accurate and couldn't handle the heavy payload. Better than researchers walking fields, looking at plants and taking notes. You may look at a plant and say, oh, that's a nice dark green color, but it's still that person's subjective opinion. This gives you a concrete number in a lot of cases that you can't get with having different people doing the data collection. And so these camera systems, like the SpiderCam system, allows uh, researchers to monitor many different populations of plants, many different genotypes, and to do it more rapidly and more precisely. You could actually play a football game here. That's right. So you got the camera. We have to invite someone here. <laughs>